Welcome to the thrilling world of dangerous game adventures. Dive into the heart of the dark continent where each moment pulsates with excitement. Witness the raw, untamed beauty of nature and feel the adrenaline surge. From the shadows of the wilderness to the echoing roars, every episode is a new chase. Dangerous Game Adventures, where the wild calls and adventure awaits. In this episode, we join John as he travels to Tanzania to hunt multiple Cape Buffalo, Hippo, and Crocodile. Arriving on the landing strip near camp, John is greeted by Yako of Game Trackers Africa. After a light lunch, the group heads to the shooting range to make sure the rifles are spot on for the safari. On the first day of hunting in the Selu Game Reserve, John is eager to get out into the bush and take in what real Africa has to offer. Yako spots a Lichtenstein's hartebeest from the truck and the stalk begins. Oops. 
normal for the females to be by themselves. Right, John, we're here in Tanzania again. Salute Game Reserve this time. Thank you. It's great to have you back here. We've been looking forward to this for a while and uh, a big quest this time for a leopard, you know, and of course buffalo and all the fun things along the way. But today is our first day and um, we've got some cats moving. We um, needed some meat and uh, you made a great shot on this on this harder beast. Thank you, thank you for your support and help. And without you, I couldn't do it. But it's a lot of fun to be here. <laughs> Absolutely, no, always. No, it's a great harder beast, you know. And the, the last safari, we took a tremendous harder beast, um, which is just in general hard to beat. But I don't think this one is far behind, you know. We, we yeah. got the oldest one out of this uh, pack of four males, and uh, it's a little herd here. And um, well, you went straight down. Job well done. Beautiful trophy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great to have you back. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> <'Cause you're not. laughs> Ever found yourself captivated by the unspoiled beauty of Tanzania? Picture this, vast savannas stretching as far as the eye can see, teeming with an array of vibrant wildlife, from towering giraffes gracefully nibbling on the tops of acacia trees to herds of elephants making their way across the plains. Tanzania is a paradise for nature enthusiasts, but it's not just the wildlife that makes Tanzania a marvel. The people, with their rich culture and warm hospitality, add a unique charm to this African gem. Now imagine all this beauty concentrated in one place, the Salu Game Reserve, the largest game reserve in Africa and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a place where the raw allure of Tanzania comes to life. So, if you're intrigued by the thought of exploring the untouched wilderness, experiencing the diverse wildlife, and immersing yourself in the rich culture of Tanzania, you're in for a treat. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by African Hunting Gazette. Dive into the world of African Hunting Gazette we're more than just a magazine, we're a quality journal presenting all aspects of hunting in Africa. Our pages take you on a journey, one hunt at a time. Afton Safari Lodge. Unfurl the adventure at Afton Safari Lodge, your gateway to the heart of Africa. We're the best start and finish to your African safari, providing a unique blend of comfort, convenience, and beauty. Yako knows of a buffalo bull that frequents a specific area and takes John to see if they can locate the bull.
Shoot him again, shoot him again. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Woo! <laughs> well done, my friend. Thank you. Well done. Oh my! But this is classic old dagger boy, you know. That's beauty. And you can tell, even at this distance, and even from the beginning, the bones and the hips, you know, his yeah. condition is fading. Yeah. It's a perfect one to to take out and to live up to our promise. Yeah. Our conservation problems. Oh, exceptional guiding and it's a lot of fun. Great stuff, my friend. Yep. Well, let's go up there and see what we got. Well, John, um, this is now day three. Got a lot of things going for us here in the Salu, um, Tanzania. We're here in the central eastern part of the Salu. Um, just, uh, we're just privileged with a great hunting area here. And uh, first day, you've got an awesome. A hard beast and um, we've got a few things going for us and the leopard you know that I'm sure is gonna work out for us here soon and then this morning we, we stumbled on a short little walk in into this bull here and um, you know things just worked out beautiful nice nice old buffalo bull you know and uh, as I always say as uh, conservation hunters you know we've got to practice what we preach and we did just that old bull past productive you know it could not have been any better and you made a great shot on it well, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for a wonderful job, for wonderful Bravo. trekking. Yeah. And to all the trekkers, I want to say, Asante. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you. Well, that's off to a good start, and we have uh, plenty more to come. Yep, thank you. Thank you, sir. Good to have you thank here. You. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. We are on the banks of the Tungay. Job well done. Salute. Midday driving in the Salu, Yako spots a group of Eland with a massive bull and parks the truck. The stalk starts and the hunting party inches closer. John, yes, he, he all have a big bull we have here. Hell of a big bull. Let's just make sure. 
Look at that. I mean, this age, is, it's size, beauty. Great. It's unbelievable. Great stuff. Job well done. Thank you. Uh, absolutely also. Thank you. Humongous. Humongous book. Humongous book. I, think, I think it can easily be the record for the area. I'm, <laughs> but, I'm just a lucky guy. That's it. You know, things happen for you all the time. <laughs> it happens for good people, <laughs> happen good stuff. Absolutely. That is, that, that is no lie. <laughs> Well, John, we're still in the roll, and uh, you know, last night, yesterday afternoon, we came off that leopard um, blind we're sitting in. We've got a really huge, old, monstrous cat, and um, you know, things are we we're kind of on an ease. You know, we've got 11 days to go. Um, you know, but as things go for you, my friend, the big ones always coming your way. And it did again this morning. We had this monster eland bull, which I believe is probably the biggest bull we've hunted in this area for the last 10, 11 years. And you made a great shot, you made it count, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. What, what were your thoughts when you saw that, that big monster coming out? Oh there? my God, I thought my heart's gonna pop out. <laughs> <laughs> I just enjoyed it so much, it's unbelievable. Thanks to the great guide, you know, and instructions, I'm a good follower, things happening. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's always, you know, great when a plan comes together, you know, we all work together and everybody's doing their part, you know, when you've got the most important part, when you've got a, you know, pull the trigger yeah. and you've been doing it perfectly every time and uh, there's the result, you know. Um, Eland meat, of course, is, you know, arguably, but very few will argue against it, I want to say the best meat. Yeah, there's a few other good ones like Kudu, Impala, Springbok, Gemsbok, but everybody always goes crazy over Eland and our Maasai trackers that's busy here in the background. They go crazy, and they, especially the Eland fat. So, um, so yeah, you can tell everybody is already looking forward to tonight and have some eland meat. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> well, and I'll just on behalf of the Maasai, thank you for feeding the camp. <laughs> thank you. We did okay. the great. We Job well done. Thank you. Thank great you. stuff, thank my so friends. Much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. This segment is brought to you by Axe Bullets. Meet your perfect hunting companion, Axe Bullets. African Express engineered monolithic bullets made in Africa. For Africa. For the hunter who demands precision and power. The Selu Game Reserve invites you to become a part of its grand narrative, to immerse yourself in its wild beauty, and to feel the pulse of life in its rawest form. Picture yourself there, basking in the soft glow of a campfire as the sun dips below the horizon. The tranquility of the moment is almost tangible, a soothing balm for your soul. You're not just observing nature, you are part of it. The Selu Game Reserve offers you this unique opportunity, a chance to step out of the everyday and into the extraordinary. So when the call of the wild echoes in your heart, remember the Selu Game Reserve, it's waiting for you.
AHG Trophy Shipping. Streamline your hunting endeavors with AHG Trophy Shipping. We say, save money, hunt more. We're your trusted partner in delivering trophies safely and efficiently. The trackers spot a superb waterbuck bull and John decides to take this opportunity to attempt to harvest this magnificent animal. I don't know what it is with you, John. Keep on doing it. <laughs> well done. You call me on the shoulder. Yeah. I just told him I'm pretty sure it's the biggest one for the season so far. No shit, look at this monster. Great. Oh, oh, any better, my friend. No, I know. This is another beauty. Another say, beauty. I just figured, you know, you say we have plenty of water back here. But, you know, it takes them a while to grow this big, and uh, we've been lucky, we've took, they've taken a free, really nice one so far this year, but I'm sure this one beats them all. But they're all great water buck, and it's just like, you know, like I said, wildebeest is a dime a dozen, we'll get one. Yeah, this is... Uh, like this, if you want it for this, and, you know, it's perfect for a crocodile and everything else we have to do. That's wonderful. Thank <laughs> you so much. It. Well done. <laughs> On today's menu, zebra. A group of zebra can be heard in the distance and the group disembarks the safari vehicle to put on a stalk.
Christophe. 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 Well John, it's been a few hard days, yeah. um, you know, and as we always say when we are hunting here, these fabulous free range areas, um, you know, you have your easy days and you have your hard days and, you know, things were working well for us the first few days and, you know, um, since we last spoke, we got a very nice warthog and um, also the same with a water buck, very, very nice water buck. Um, I always say, you know, Finding those really nice common water buck out here in these areas is very difficult, and um, we um, we've been very fortunate this year to, to have taken quite a few of those. Um, I think yours is number four for us, um, but great, awesome water buck, awesome water oak. Um, the luck has been continuing um, up until the last two days was dry. At least today we got this beautiful zebra here behind us, East African virtual zebra. Um, but that's the way it goes, you know. Yeah. Some you win, some you lose. As long as you win more than we lose, then we're good. Well, the whole idea is keep working, we work hard. And by working hard, you know, uh, some things yeah. produce and uh, that's, that's how we, we are the winners. Well, today. that's that's the beauty of, yeah. of the hunting is um, you know, and that is what I always say, people that don't hunt will never understand, you know, uh, hunting builds so much character yeah. in terms of perseverance, you know, just sticking to your guns, do what you need to do, you know, you just never give up, you know, and you have a, one right. or two bad days, but every morning you get up with new hope, and well, today it paid off again. Yeah, sweating all day long and working very hard, and uh, we got the results. Well, thank job you. well thank done. You. Thank Good you shooting, so much. my friend. Thank you. Good thank stuff. You. Congratulations. Thank you. A herd of Cape Buffalo is spotted at a nearby watering hole and Yako makes out a big bull in the group. John takes this opportunity at another Cape Buffalo.
Well, John, seems like we're back on a roll. Things are going, having a good day so far. Great buffalo bull. Um, we got some more business to take care of. But uh, yeah, couldn't have been any better. Great shot you made on it, and um, it ran, I guess, all but about a hundred yards over here. And but he was um, he was having a hard time, and just took one bullet to to put him down. And uh, job job well done, my friend. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank You're you for welcome. having great faith in me to give me the opportunity to <laughs> shoot the right buffalo. <laughs> no, of course, you know that's that's what it's all about. You know, we're out here to, you know, to to have fun while we pay for conservation and. Um, you know, um, being able to do this um, just uh, generates a lot of funding for these free range areas. You know, we cannot overemphasize that. Um, so, yeah, we're just glad to have you here and participate and share our interest in conservation as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to help. That's it. You're welcome, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you. Again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. In the next episode we continue the journey with John and Yako as they hunt for even more Cape Buffalo and a hippo bull in the famous Salu Game Reserve of Tanzania.